day world and welcome back to stuff we do where we do all the knife stuff you love knife reviews knife tests knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives okay this is pickled steel weekend and this is video four yeah that's a lot of videos for one weekend anyway so this is video four and yes this knife okay in the previous video sorry give me a second <coughs> excuse me in the previous video, I have said that the Rico drop point is definitely going to stay in my pocket. And that's true. But this knife does not have any fancy locking mechanisms. It does not have anything like that. But there is something about it. This knife has got personality. Okay. So this is the pickled steel Voror. Voror. Yeah, I think if you click on Google to give you the pronunciation, it's Voror. Okay. Now, in Old Norse mythology, um, the Voror was some kind of guardian spirit. Something that was with you from the day you were born until you died. And it's like a guardian spirit. Okay. But the Italian, um, not the Italian, the, what's the old thing? The Latin, the Latin translation for voror means to devour. Okay, either of those works perfectly for this knife. If you think of this as your little protector or something you use to devour everybody else, it works. Okay, we have this beautiful micarta. Do you hear that? When you apply pressure, it holds you in place and when you rub over it softly it feels quite soft and nice do you see the pattern on there okay nice thick liners beautiful micarta beautiful clip the clip has got well the clip is recessed it's got recessed screws and it's reversible can you see all of that Perfect centering on this thing. We do have jumping, very, very functional jumping, and it's a nice knife, a nice size for EDC. It's wonderful. Now, there's a long fuller running over here. We have this little cutout over here, a little thumb, of, yeah, thumb hole, and then we have a flipper. But look at the blade shape. Oh, that is marvelous. It kind of reminds me of the... Uh, Civivi Wyvern. Okay, but that had a more acute point, a more of a drop. But this little eye thing over here, I don't know, it looks like some kind of predatory bird from the Jurassic period. Okay, so something like that. But look at it. Pickled steel. This guy is in D2 and it's Voror. But I have been enjoying this knife so much. The shape overall is super pleasing. The blade shape is fantastic. The action on this thing. Okay, all pickled steel knives, I think, yeah, pretty much all of them, everything I've had so far, except the fixed blades, run on ceramic ball bearings. But did you see that drop? And then, look at that, that's gravity. And I'm doing it at an angle. Again, snap, listen. Okay. Oh, little shake. Sorry. Too much shake. Too much shake. Too much shake. But anyway, so this thing is fantastic. Now, if you want to spidey flick it, you just hook your finger into the little, uh, what's that thing called? Fuller or into the little eye and it shoots out like a boss. The little thumb ramp with the jumping over there is super secure. Once you have your finger hooked in there, you are hooked in there. Now, like I always say, you can always roll your knuckle over that little tab over there if you want to get closer, but it doesn't feel necessary. Okay, we have a sharpening choil. It's not a very deep sharpening choil, but we have a sharpening choil over there. And as I have said many times, I don't really care for sharpening choils. The action on this thing is fantastic. Okay. Now, all of this together. D2, which I like. The fantastic micarta. Everything is nice and rounded over. Everything feels soft. 
We even have a lanyard doll. I didn't even see that yet. Okay, we have a lanyard doll over there. So if you want to add a lanyard, you are golden. Very nice and neutral blade. Ach, blade handle shape. But we have this little swell over there. And that fits perfectly between my fingers, just locking me inside. If I press down on the knife, I can feel the pocket clip, but nothing that I would call a hot spot. Okay, not at all. It works in every grip fantastically. This is really, really an easy knife to like. Like I said, no button locks, no nothing. It's just fantastic and it works. Okay, now this was one of the first pickle steels um, I've ever heard of, actually. But I could never get one because they were always... Um, out of stock. So, I suppose it's because it's popular. And, yes, flat ground blade. Like I said, I like a blade shape like this. A bit of flat, nice belly, and then we have a bit of a tip. Look, it's got a little drop there at the point. Okay, so you can do utility type cuts. You can use it for food prep. Oh, and because it's got a little bit of straight, you can even use it for a bit of carving. Fantastic, fantastic knife. I really enjoy this knife. So, the Rico is a fantastic knife and I love it. Button lock, all kinds of things, technology on its side. This thing is just cool. Look at it. This knife is just cool. If you can have a budget knife, this cool. Oh, you're golden. We live in a wonderful time where we can get wonderful knives for not a lot of money just that action oh that is wonderful okay so that's the voror um please remember about the competition we have a number in there uh, go to that video just check it out again you must leave a comment in that video's comments and say a number between one and one thousand and you can win three pickled steel knives so go check that out and that's me wrapping up Pickled Steel Weekend. Okay, so next weekend. Um, yes, we are going to look at knives. Well, at least one knife. But um, it's going to be random things from random places. Not things you should know. Well, not that you should not know them. But not things that you would normally know. Um, we're doing lights again. We are talking about all kinds of nonsense next weekend. So, next weekend is... Random weekend. Yay. And it's a long weekend. Uh, maybe we'll throw in an extra knife or two. It's random. Okay, so all of you, stay safe, happy, have a good one, and have a fantastic week. Goodbye.